What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you the CyanogenMod 10.1 Alpha build on the AT&T HTC One. So ma the majority of the functions are actually working on this ROM. Go ahead and unlock it. So you see right off the bat, this is pure Android. This is Android 4.2.2 stock, no bloat, no sense, anywhere. So for working, the ROM does boot up as you see. Now I did have to delete the phone.apk into the ROM before installing this. If you unzip it, go into the system app, delete phone APK, and then I just you know recompressed it and installed it. Because I kept getting phone process has stopped. So to fix that, I just uninstalled, you know, phone. <laughs> it fixed it, pretty self-explanatory. So pretty much the usual stuff is working, including the boot, touchscreen, USB, GPS, voice, and data. Now my SIM card is in my Galaxy Nexus right now. Wi-Fi is also working on this ROM, so you can use Wi-Fi. Thanks to a Birdman for the voice, data, and Wi-Fi fix, of course. Now the audio is sort of working. I'll go ahead and show you guys a track. Um, we'll do Three Doors Down, Kryptonite. Now this is at full volume. I don't know how well you guys can hear this. That's at full volume. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear that, but that is the, you know, the how the speakers work. Now for not working, which is not really that big of a deal for someone like me, is Bluetooth. The capacitive lights on the bag in the home are also not working. And also lots of other things because this is a pre-alpha. So expect to have some bugs. So if we go back home, you see there was a little bit of lag right there. And there just sort of is a little bit of lag throughout the entire ROM. So I mean, it's not that bad. You still get Cyanogen Mod. You can mess with the launcher, lock screen, of course have your theme. This is not recommended to be a daily ROM because of the bugs. But if you wanted to, you could honestly still use this. I'm not going to because I like the functions of my phone to work. But it's a really great option for those that want the pure Android. And there are going to be tons of updates for this ROM. Going to be tons of work. Other devs are working on this. Once we get a fully working AOSP ROM, expect tons of others to follow. Like AOKP, I don't know, Liquid, Carbon ROM, Fruitbox, everything like that. So if we go under About Phone, you do see that we are running on 4.2.2. This was released yesterday on the 24th, but all in all, it's a really good option for those that really want that stock Android that they miss from, say, a Galaxy Nexus or Nexus 4. This is a good option. So I will be covering this more as it does develop, and hopefully a lot of these bugs will get fixed really soon. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see any more videos like this or any other ROMs, go ahead and leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video.